Member Burnaby North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Living room art in the Heights brings my community together. Once a year, local artists turn a private home into an art gallery for one evening. This year, COVID-19 kept us from gathering in the same house. So the organizers exercised their imaginations as true artists and created something new. Living room art in the Heights went virtual. It was the poet Shelley who said, poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. 200 years later, I would say, creative artists are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. They are not afraid of a blank canvas. They put brush to paper, aim a camera, pick up a musical instrument to create something new and beautiful. I see a parallel between the imaginative work of artists and the work we do as legislators. Our job is to create a more beautiful society. But how can we if we can't imagine what a better society might look like? <laughs> Imagination is a learnable skill. We wouldn't tell a two-year-old to stop trying to walk and talk because they're not very good at it, would we? Yet how many of us declare that we don't have an artistic bone in our bodies? As we slowly emerge from the pandemic and try to rebuild our economy, we need to hone our imaginations. Otherwise, we will be tempted to return to the way things used to be. But those ways did not work for everyone. The old normal left too many people out in the cold, literally, scrambling to make a living, exhausted, disillusioned, disconnected. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's taught us that we are all in this together. If the most vulnerable among us are not safe, none of us are safe. Like the organizers of Living Room Art in the Heights, let's bravely embrace our inner artists and go out and paint a new normal. Thank you.